In this video, we're going to take a look at a new feature that's been added to 3D Coat 4.7.17, and that is the proxy slider. You might be asking, what is a proxy and why would I need a slider for it? Well, this has to do with 3D Coat caching your voxel or surface mode layers, and in its place, it's going to leave a proxy, which is a lower resolution version of that particular object. When you approach your layer in the Vox Tree layer panel, you'll see this little cache to disk icon. If you click on that, it's going to send the current state to the hard drive. And as you work on that lower resolution version, if you choose to do so at all, 3D Coat will translate the changes from the proxy to the original when you decide to uncache that particular layer. So that's pretty much how 3D Coat handles subdivision levels, or when you need to step down to a lower subdivision level. In 3D Coat, that typically occurs whenever you're using large-scale editing tools, such as Transform, Pose Tool, which is kind of a Swiss Army knife in modeling terms. Then you have the Move Tool, and that's a large-scale editing tool. So when you use those, it's a good practice to use a low-resolution proxy. So now that that is explained, I want to mention how it was previously. As you may notice here, there are no visual indications of just what level I would be stepping down to if I chose to click on this cache disk icon. In order to do that, I would have to go to the geometry menu and under proxy method, I would have to see here what level is already chosen and I would click on the one that I want. You can assign hotkeys to the ones you use the most. So when you're talking about decimation, the higher the number, the lower the poly count. Reduction is very similar to working with voxels. It's a very even polygonal distribution and the result may look pretty rough. So decimation is always a good option to choose. Now again, if you set hotkeys for this and then under caching set a hotkey for toggle proxy mode then I could use my arrow keys that I assigned to those proxy levels and I could pre-select it so let's say eight levels is the bottom arrow key and then the up arrow key is the toggle into proxy mode if I hit that hotkey again it's going to come back out of a cache state so that's how I would handle it previously but now you have under Windows, Pop-Ups, Proxy Slider, a visual way to go about this. So let's go ahead and dock this at the bottom of our Vox Tree layer panel. That way it's closer to our layers. Okay, and can adjust this. Now, each time you come back to 3D Coat, this will remain in place unless you undock it. If you like, you can leave it floating and then just close it whenever you need. So by default, you'll be all the way to the right-hand side and let's select this upper torso portion. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to hit my wireframe hotkey. This gives me the visual means to pre-select the decimation level I want before I actually cache the layer. I can also see a visual hint of the resulting poly count beneath the slider. 51K, 25K, 12k and so on all right so let's go with eight levels of reduction and i'm going to click the cache to disk icon here you see how that works now let's say i don't like that let's say i want to be a little bit closer to the original what i can do is drag this slider i can release it and then 3d coat is going to manually adjust it so i'm going to slide it again and you can see 3D Coat is interactively adjusting the decimation level on the fly. So this is extremely handy. So with that, we will conclude this quick look at the new proxy slider. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.